Hi guys, welcome back to my mathematics tutorial. My name is Peter C. Dr. Junior, your math tutor. So in this lecture, we want to look at the second problem on the graphing system of linear equations. So let's let's continue. Like in the previous problem, we discussed two mean methods. That is the first method we must first find the y-intercept. And the second method, the second uh, step is to find the slope of the line. So we take the first equation, um, x minus y equals to 1. So to find the y-intercept, we can say let x equal to 0, and then we solve for y. Or we can rewrite the equation in the form of mx y equals to we can rewrite the equation in the form y equals to mx plus b and then this b now becomes our y intercept b becomes our y intercept and m becomes our slope but let's say we don't want to you know, we don't want to be struggling on rewriting the equation in that form. We just want to go ahead to find our y-intercept. So we can say let x equals 0. Because when x is equal to 0, it means the problem will be simplified. So we have 0 minus y equals to 1. So this is already out. So this is already out. You have minus y equals to 1. So we can divide this side by minus 1, minus 1, because we the coefficient of this y is 1. So we divide both sides by minus 1, because we don't want a negative to be attached to this y. We are only solving for y. So we divide both sides by minus 1. Negative divided by negative is positive. So y now becomes positive divided by negative. This 1 is positive. Divided by negative, it becomes negative 1. So... So this is it. So this is our y, this is our 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 y intercept. So we can we can now say x is zero, comma, y is minus one. That's our y intercept. So the next thing we need to find is the slope. So we we'll go to the equation, we have x minus y equals to 1. So we want to put it in the form of y equals to mx plus b. So it's just to say solve for y within the equation. Just solve for y. So if we solve for y in this equation, we, we send this x across, we have minus y equals to minus x plus 1. Because the reason why we put the x first is because we want the x stem to be first, like we see in this equation. So we can divide all sides now by minus 1. Because we just want to have positive y. So we divide this 1 by minus 1, and we divide this 1 by minus 1 also. So negative divided by negative is positive, so we have y equals. Negative divided by negative is positive, so there is just x. Positive divided by negative is negative, just 1. So now it is in the form y equals to mx plus b. So our b is minus 1, like we have here. And our slope, which is m, is just the coefficient. Whatever that is attached to this x is our m. So m is just equal to 1. So because it's just a whole number, it is 1 over 1. So we're going to move one unit within the y-axis. From this particular point, we move one unit in the y-axis and one unit in the x-axis. So there's the first one. So let's erase and just keep, keep it for the first. Or let's graph it first. And then we can move on. So we have for okay, we have something like this. So we say when x is 
when x is zero for the y-intercept, when x is zero, this is zero right there, right? So let's put some values here, some stops here. So when x is zero, y is minus one. So minus one is just right there. So this is just minus one. And then from there, from there now we can have our the, the slope. So from that minus one, we must move positive one unit, let's say one unit in the y direction, the positive y direction because it is positive. So move one unit in the positive y direction, we just be right here. And then we move one unit in the x direction. Because it is change in y divided by change in x. So we move one unit in the y and one unit in the x. So one unit in the y and then one unit in the x right here. Right? So now what do we do? We connect. Connect. Connect them like this. So let's move to the next one. So I'm going to further, I'm going to draw some, you know, some stuff like this so that, okay. I'll draw some boxes. Okay, so can I have some boxes like this? Some boxes like this. Okay. Can I have some boxes like this? So now this this moves like this, something like this. So we can have some boxes like this. I have some cube boxes like this. So this now can move like this in this direction. Something like this and so forth. So we know that this is our x axis. So got this is our x axis. This is our x axis and this is our y axis. Okay. So this is zero. This is the origin. And then that is that's the first the first graph. This is the first graph. So you can sometimes just put the equation on the graph, which is x minus y equals to one. So it tells us that this is the first graph. So we move to the second one. So we apply the same method, take the second equation. Now the second equation is already in the form of, it's already in the form of y equals to mx plus b. So our y intercept, is just equal to b. So the point now will be, x is zero and then b now let's say this is just equal to five right so x is zero and then b is five that is the first the first the first point that we need the y intercept the next one is the slope so mx minus 2x so the slope is just minus two so m is just equals to minus two over one. So now we go to the graph to plot these points. So zero comma five. So when x is zero, then y is five. So it's one, two, three. So we have to put additional. Uh, put additional. Okay. 
Sketch Edition. Okay. So when 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 x is when x is this is the x axis when x is zero zero right there then y is five so we move five units in the y the positive y direction so it's one two three four five this is five is four this is three this is two one so this is five so we we dot this one right there then we move for the slope so they say we must move two units downward two units downward because it's negative so two units downward one and two and then one unit in the the right direction right so move one one unit right here right here one unit so we can now run a line through so if we run a line through this we're gonna have something like this uh, something like this so you see that this is the second equation which is y equals minus 2x plus 5 this is second equation. So, where did the two equations, the two lines meet? The two lines meet at this particular point. So, we're going to identify that point. When x is, now this is 1, this is 2, this is 3. So, when x is 2, when x is 2, y is 1. Is one right? So there's a point right here. When x is two, y is one. So the solution is x is two, y is one. You want us to prove it? We can prove it. We can solve the equation. So let's take the two equations: x minus y equals to one. And then we'll take the next one, right? Y. Now, but the first equation is not actually in this form. So we can, we can make it to be in this form. So at least we can be able to solve them in a way that probably we can use elimination method. So we can rewrite this equation as minus y, right? Minus y plus, or we send it across the equal sign, minus y, since this one, this x is across minus y equals to negative x meaning we send this x across it becomes negative this negative y plus this one then we take this second equation y equals minus 2x plus 5. so let's use elimination now the first variable already has negative and this one has positive. So these two variables can just go out because negative y plus y is equal to zero. Let this one, the signs are the same. So we add them. So it's positive, negative one x, negative two x. So it becomes negative three x. One plus five is six. So now, if we send this minus 3x across, we will have positive 3x is equals to 6. We want to solve for x, we can divide both sides by 3 and by 3. So x now, 3 here, 1 times, 3 here, 1 times, x is equals to 2. So what is x value right here? 2. Let's do the next one. So we can now use this, this equation, in fact, we just use this equation. Y equals minus 2. Since we know x now will be 2, we just replace it. Plus 5. So we say y equals. Now, minus 2 times 2 is four, minus 4 plus 5. The signs are different. We subtract the small number from the big number. So 4 from 5 is just 1. 
and take the sum of the greatest number. The greatest number here is 5. So it, it will be positive. So we just, it just equals to positive 1. So you see, the solution is 2, 1. X is 2, Y is 1. So this is how we solve, we, we, we solve a system of linear equations in two variables by method of graphing. So in the next uh, set of examples, we're going to look at solving system of a linear equation by uh, solving system of linear equation by graphing, but we will be looking at some work problems. So thanks ever so much for watching. See you now in our next lecture. Thank you.